Hi everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate amplitude modulation and demodulation using MATLAB. Amplitude modulation is the process in which amplitude of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the amplitude of message signal keeping frequency and phase of the carrier constant. First let us generate the AM signal and uh, from the generated AM signal we will be able to recover back the original message using amplitude demodulation process. Here these are the commands ELC, clear all, close all. These functions are used for clearing the command window. This is the command window. Then we are taking number of samples as 8000 and we have sampling period is equal to 1 by fs. Let us take uh, 1000 samples. We are setting uh, the number of samples as 1000. Then uh, uh, we set the time axis t equal to 0 to nts minus ts in steps of ts. So, this is the time axis we are setting. First, let us uh, uh, include the parameters for the message signal and carrier signal and thus we generate the carrier signal and message signals. Uh, let, let me take the frequency of the carrier signal is 1000 hertz. Amplitude of the carrier is uh, 1. Frequency of the message signal is 20 hertz. Amplitude of the message signal is 0 0.6. So, let us generate the carrier signal C equal to AC cos of 2 pi of C T. This is the carrier signal and AC is the amplitude of the carrier and uh, this FC is the frequency of the carrier. So, by using these parameters we are generating the carrier signal. We also set the frequency of the message signal, amplitude of the message signal and then from that we are generating the message signal uh, using the formula message signal is equal to am cos 2 pi fmt where am is the amplitude of the message signal and fm is the frequency of the message signal. And we know the amplitude sensitivity k equal to 1 by ac. The modulation index of the am wave is given by k a am. In this case k equal to 1 by ac therefore mu is the modulation index which is equal to am by ac. Here we have taken am equal to 0.6. AC is 1, so the modulation index is uh, 0 0.6, we have set it and uh, this is, that is under modulation process. Now we generate the AM signal using the formula. The expression for AM signal is AC into 1 plus mu cos 2 pi FMT into cos 2 pi FCT. So this is the expression for the A modulated signal, uh, we are able to generate it. Now let us plot the original message signal. So we are doing subplotting. Subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1, 3 rows and 1 column. This is the first plot. We are plotting the message signal with respect to time. Plot T comma M and we are putting the title as message signal. X level is time and Y level is amplitude. Now we also plot the AM signal that is done in the second plot. 3 rows, 1 column and the second plot. So, subplot 3 comma 1 comma 2. Now, plot T comma S, then the title is amplitude modulated signal. And X level is uh, given as time and Y level is given as amplitude. So, let us uh, demodulate uh, the signal. Uh, already there is a built in function in the MATLAB uh, that is a demod. We are making use of this demod function. So, we are assigning it to demod signal variable. This S is the modulated signal with the help of the carrier frequency and the sampling frequency and this is the method of modulation. So, demod function it is used to demodulate the AM signal. So, if I if you write here AM, AM signal is demodulated, if you write here FM, FM signal is demodulated. So, we can also have PM demodulation, the same function can be used for demodulating AM, FM, AM, DS, BSC. Uh, phase modulation also just, just by changing this if you write AM amplitude demodulation is done if you write FM frequency demodulation is done if you write PM then uh, phase demodulation is done so here we are going for amplitude demodulation so we are writing it as AM now we are subplotting uh, this uh, third three rows one column and this is the third plot the plot T comma demod signal this demodulated signal which was obtained from the function demod is uh, plotted here, then uh, title demod, x label, time, y label, amplitude. Now let us run uh, this uh, program. 
So go to the editor and uh, press the run button. So it is executing. So the program is uh, being executed and the results are displayed here. And this is the original message signal. This is the amplitude modulated signal. When message amplitude is decreasing, the amplitude of the carrier also decreases. Message amplitude is increasing, amplitude of the carrier also increases. This, this follows the <coughs> envelope. The message signal is following the envelope of the modulated signal. From this uh, modulated signal, we are able to recover back the original message signal. This is the original message signal that is uh, uh, recovered back from the A modulated signal with the parameter set. And there is uh, another uh, way of demodulating it. Here we have used a demod function. Instead of that, uh, we create uh, the synchronous demodulator and uh, just uh, doing a comment here. Let us go for synchronous demodulation. So, so perform demodulation of AM. The, let us take uh, multiply the modulated signal with a carrier. Yes, with the modulated signal, and uh, we are multiplying with the carrier signal and pass it through the low pass filter. The synchronous demodulation is like this. The original modulated signal it is multiplied with a carrier and pass it through a Butterworth low pass filter. So let us generate the Butterworth low pass filter also. This is a butter is a function b comma a butter 1 comma 0 0.01. So what do you mean by b comma a butter n comma omega n? It designs nth order low pass digital Butterworth filter and return the filter coefficients in length n plus 1 vectors b. B is the numerator vector n plus 1, A is the denominator vector. Now omega n is the cutoff frequency, omega n varying from 0 to 1, here we have set it as a first order Butterworth filter and then uh, this omega n cutoff frequency is set as 0 0.01, depending upon the message signal frequency, so we can select the cutoff frequency. So if, if you take uh, omega n equal to 1, this corresponds to half of the sampling rate. So we, we have to choose this uh, omega n depending upon the highest frequency present in the original message signal. <coughs> then we go for demodulation. So we are making use of this uh, filter function b comma a. These are the coefficients that were obtained from the filter and this is the multiplier output. What is the multiplier output? Uh, the message, uh, this uh, modulated uh, signal is multiplied with a carrier. This is the multiplier output. And then uh, we have designed the Butterworth low pass filter, B comma A coefficients. And there, then we are using B comma A in the filter function, B comma A multiplier output. What is this filter? Uh, B comma A comma X, the data in vector X, this data in vector X, that is multiplier output with the filter described by the vectors a comma b these are the vectors numerator vector denominator vector it is filtered then we are getting the demodulated signal now we are subplotting the demodulated signal and then uh, let us run this program and see the results so we are, we are obtaining the original message signal here recovered this is the message signal. This is the amplitude modulated signal. Amplitude versus time. And uh, this demodulated signal is obtained by multiplying this message modulated signal with a carrier and pass it through the low pass filter of the type Butterworth nth order low pass filter. So this uh, shape is following the original message signal. So we are able to uh, recover back the original message signal from the amplitude modulated signal. I hope this uh, video is uh, useful to you.